Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're actually going to be expanding on our news app that we built in the last video. So in this one, we're actually going to add a tab bar, as you can see to the bottom where it says feeds and um, settings. So you can basically switch between the two views. So let's get stuck in and let's do this now. So in order for us to basically add a tab bar to our Swift UI app, what we actually need to do is we need to actually use a view called tab view. So tab view basically allows you to add a tab bar to the bottom of your view. So as you can see, I've got a project here um, just to mess about with so I can experiment and show you guys what I'm going to be doing. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to basically add a tab view now and just see um, what happens. So what I'm going to do is delete all this text and then simply just going to type tab view. Cool. And now uh, what I need to do is I need to basically put some views inside the tab view to display on the screen because you can see I've got an error. And now if we uh, run this now, you can see here that I can now see screen one. And when I run it on the simulator, you can see it says screen one. And if I tap on the bottom here, it says screen two. So you can't actually see it because we've not actually set it up properly yet. We're gonna do that next, but there's no text or images on the tab view, which is why um, you can't really see anything. Now, it's also worth noting as well, that when I was adding this tab view, I added it to the main content view of my app. So what do I mean by that? So essentially this content view that you see here is the first screen that the user is going to see in my app where I want them to have a tab view but let's look at this and you can see obviously like i said before there's no images or you know text so if we actually go to the apple human interface guidelines so essentially this is like the bible for apple in terms of design like and um what they actually recommend with um tab bars is essentially you should basically have the image and you should also have the title for the view to give the user a clearer um, context. And I'll also leave a link to the description box for this as well. So you can actually, you know, check this out um, yourself. But let's go back to our app now and let's actually give our tab bar some more context with some images and some text. So in order for us to basically give our views um, some more context as to what they are, uh, we have to actually use a, mod a modifier called tab item. So on the text, what we're going to do is add a tab item onto it. So let's do that now. So I'm just going to literally just put here dot tab item. And it basically comes with a um, closure like that. So it comes with a closure. So within the closure, what we need to do is we need to essentially return some text and we can also return an image. So let's do that now. So for the image, I'm actually going to use an FS symbol. So I'm going to copy it off my other screen. So let's do this now. Okay, cool. So as you can see, we've now actually got our image and our text in and our, set our settings um, icon as well and our text in. So you can see here that currently it's showing us that the favorites tab is what is currently active. And if I click on the settings one, the settings one will become active as well. And we now have a clearer context as to which screen that we're currently on. But what we can actually do is we can actually take this a step further and we can actually customize the way our tab view looks by using some UI kit. So let's look into that now. So let's look at how we can use that. So what I'm going to do actually first is I'm actually still going to use a bit of Swift UI. So what I want to do is essentially this color um, blue, I want to change it to a different color. So let's do that now. So if we want to change the color of this selected state, it's quite simple. All we need to do on the tab view is give it an accent color. So if I just go to accent color here, and then if I just say dot orange, you can now see that the selected state has turned to orange. So that's pretty straightforward, but we can actually use UI kit to basically specify, um, you know, styles as well. And one of these styles that I want to specify is the settings. So let's say for example, when the item is unselected, I want those settings to be a different color. So let's do that now. So the first thing we need to do is we need to basically just use our initializer for our struct. So let's write an initializer. So I'm just going to say init like so. And what this means is whenever this content view is created, then what we're going to essentially do is execute the code inside of the initializer. 
So just to show you where this creation happens, it would happen in our main app where, where the uh, window group is created. So when this is created, it will execute this. So inside of here, what we want to do is we want to actually use some UI kit. So what I'm going to do at the top here is I'm just going to import uh, UI kit like so. And then I'm basically going to use the UI appearance to change the way that this um, tab bar looks. So let's do that now. Cool. And as you can see here, we're basically saying that we want to, on the UI tab bar, when the item is unselected, we want it to be red like so. Now this is interesting. So if you never saw this before, what this is, is basically using UI appearance. So what this essentially means is throughout the entire app, when this is called, it will inherit this style. So this is like a global style kind of thing. So you actually could do this um, code at the root of your app if you wanted it to be like global, global. Um, but we're just going to do it here for now. And what I also want to do is I want to change the background color of my tab bar. So let's do that now. Cool. And you can see I've overridden the tab bar and changed the color as well. So you can see that when you want to change styles in Swift UI and you can leverage some of the UI kit um, functionality and it's very, very simple to actually, you know, configure your tab bar. We also sometimes might want to change the state of our tab view. So let's say, for example, if we receive a push notification or someone taps a button or we need to basically force a user to a certain flow, we can actually change the state of the tab bar and force it programmatically to change to a different tab. So let's look into that now. The first thing we need to do is we actually need to use a property wrapper um, that comes with um, Swift UI called state. So essentially what we're going to do is monitor whether this state changes. So if it does, then we're going to essentially react. So let's do this now. Cool. And you can see here that I've marked it as private, so we can just basically protect it so it doesn't get changed from outside. Um, and we've marked it as state, like I said before, so we can monitor when this selected index changes. So tab view actually comes with a initializer that allows you to monitor um, changes and basically programmatically change the tab view. So let's use this now. So if you're someone who hasn't saw this before, essentially um, with tab view, um, it comes with this um, selection parameter that lets you track the state selection. But now we have to put this dollar sign. So essentially what we're saying with this dollar sign, with this uh, variable is that we want to bind the value within selected index to our tab view. So whenever the value in selected index changes, we're basically going to redraw and react. So it's going to react to that change and then almost redraw the contents within this view. So that's essentially what this dollar sign means. It means you're just binding to a value. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna add some buttons to these screens. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change my views a bit and put them in a V stack where we have a text and some button. So let's do that now. Okay, so what we've essentially done here is we basically put our V stack and um, our views in a V stack, I should say, sorry. And then we've got our text and we've got our button. And then when someone selects on the button, we're going to change the selected index. So in this case, we're going to change to index one, which is in programming one is essentially the second one because it starts from zero. So one is the second tab. Um, and then I just set the foreground color on this button to blue so it's not using the orange um, accent color. Apply the tab item onto our V stack so we can basically give our tab, our V stack, the tab item with the label in the image. And then we set a unique tag on our V stack. So this one is zero and this one is one. So we can uniquely identify which one is which. So just to make this a bit more clearer, because it's difficult to see these colors, I'm actually going to remove the unselected tint. Um, so I'm just going to comment that out. So I'm just going to hit resume, just so it's clear which one is being selected. Cool. So now when I run this, if I hit the button to change the script to the settings screen, you can see here that the settings is now highlighted and favorites is unselected. And if I hit the button to change to the favorites screen, favorites is highlighted and 
the settings is unselected. All right, cool. So we've actually covered a lot in the basis there of tab views. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually apply everything that we've learned to our news app. So we can basically add a news feed and a settings to the tab bar. So let's jump straight back into our news um, app project. Now, if you've not done this before, the, I'll put a link at the top in the card section and in the description box so you can go and check out that video. But let's jump straight into that now. Okay, cool. So I'm back in our project here now and essentially what I'm going to make one improvement. So the first thing that we need to do before we start anything is we actually need to take this navigation view out of this um, state um, because I've realized that um, when the object state changes, we get into some sort of like retain cycle where it just repeats. Um, so to fix that bug, um, if you just basically delete if you just look basically delete um, the navigation view so just delete this line here and then delete this line here and then around the group itself if you wrap that in a navigation view so we just say navigation view like so and then if you just basically copy the group so just the group and then paste that inside a navigation view so on the navigation view on a peer it will call the view model get articles which is now looking good all right cool so now we can start so essentially what we need to do is we need to create new two new views so in the views folder i'm going to create two new swift ui views so the first one is going to be called settings view which we will use in later video in a later video that i've got planned for you guys And then the second view I want to create is a view called feed view. So Swift UI view. Okay, cool. Now what I want to do is in your content view, uh, essentially what we want to do is you want to just copy the stuff that we have in here into our feed view. So first thing we want to copy is the import. And then we want to just copy this, all of this at the top here. Just paste it here. And then we want to copy um, the whole body and the load. So we're just going to copy the entire um, body and, and the load function. So essentially all of this. So from line 16 to 51. And then we're just going to replace our body like so. Cool. And then um, all I need you to do is just in this content view, just delete the combine, delete this, um, and then delete the following function. So okay, I've delete the load URL function. And then within the body, uh, just delete this. So essentially we should have an empty um, body like so. And if you just wanna just display something to remove the error, um, just put a text that just says hello all right cool so we should have an empty view like this now so if you hit resume cool you should see hello all right awesome so now what we're going to do is we're now essentially going to add our settings and our feed view within a tab bar so let's do that now so all we need to do is just delete this Cool, and that's pretty much it, pretty straightforward. So essentially what we see in our content view is we want to have a tab view. Um, we want to use our new feed view within this and our new settings view, which we will use in a later video um, where we do some cool stuff with this app. And then um, we're basically specifying in our tab item view modifier, the image and the text. So you can see setting up a tab view in Swift UI is really easy. So let's run this app and let's see what happens. So I'm just gonna hit run. Oh. And now we can see, um, you know, all our articles. And if we go into the settings, we have our settings screen there. If we go back, 
we get our articles refreshed nice and clean so i hope you enjoyed that video now we actually are going to be making more improvements to this news app in later videos so be sure to hit the subscribe button and um, stick around also if you enjoyed this um video as well give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate that as well as usual share comment as well for any feedback as well and i'll catch you in the next video deuces